When it comes to external storage memory for the Xbox Series X or S, you really have three options to choose from. You have your standard HDD. These are just platter drives. They come in a variety of different sizes of memory. These are, this one's a two terabyte. There's eight terabytes even. If you want something a little bit smaller, you have a portable SSD, which is this guy by Samsung, the T5. And these also come in a couple of different varieties of memory capacities. But to take full advantage of the Series X and S with all of its glory, including the Xbox Velocity architecture, you're gonna want this little guy. Can you see it? Can, can, we, can we zoom in? Does that work? We'll do a B-roll shot. Bring in the B-roll shot. This is the Seagate storage expansion card for the Xbox Series X or S. This is the one terabyte option. And as of recent past, Seagate actually released a 512 gigabyte option as well as a two terabyte option. So you have a few other variances of memory capacity to choose from, but why do you wanna choose this over the other options? Let's go ahead and dive into that. Um, but, but before we do. Yeah, much better. Let's dive into it. Hey folks, Tony Hannity's here, the Xbox Master Trainer for the United States here in Expert Zone. And yeah, this is the kind of external memory that you're gonna want for your Xbox Series X or S. And I gotta tell you, it's, it's wonderful, I love it. It's one of the best, best accessories that you can get for that console. And it just, it does all the things that you ever wanted it to do, except make breakfast. It doesn't, doesn't get. Phil Spencer, I'm talking to you, breakfast. Breakfast memory. No, but in all seriousness, in this little guy is essentially the same kind of memory that you're gonna find in the Series X or the Series S. And that is essentially an M.2 drive. Now, originally with the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, those were platter drives. And you can upgrade those drives externally with an SSD, and that's fine. That, that's a great way to go. And you can actually use those external SSDs on the Series X and S. But because of the Xbox Velocity architecture and because it does require that custom SSD to take full advantage of those newer speeds, well, we're talking like four times faster than the Xbox One X, you need this. And with the M.2 solid state drive internally and externally, you'll take full advantage of things like quick resume, auto HDR, uh, FPS boost, and whatever else, whatever else that Microsoft and Xbox decide to release as a feature for their latest next gen consoles, you'll be able to take advantage of that. Now, like I said, you can still use your older drives externally and the games will still play. However, they will not take advantage of all of those things. It will still be not slow necessarily, but just not as fast. I mean, look at these numbers here. You're playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the Xbox Series X. If you're using the internal or the external, the load time is about 23, 25 seconds. But if you're on an older Xbox One or Xbox One X, it can go all the way up to 60 some seconds. That's a big difference. And for those of you who are not gamers, you're like, oh, just wait the extra few, few seconds. No. <laughs> I gotta get in, I gotta get into my lobby. All my friends are waiting. I wanna be the first one in Destiny to be waiting at the tower so I can, so, so, so I can do the little, the little dance moves, the little emote dance moves. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but it's an emote dance move. And the other beautiful thing about this particular form factor is it doesn't take up that much room. There's no cable. So I have the platter drive and the external portable SSD plugged into the back of my Xbox Series X. I do, I use them. I don't put my main games on there, mind you, but I do use them for games like uh, Full Throttle, for example. Great game from the 90s, doesn't take full advantage of the Series X and S upgrades, so we're putting that on the SSD. Or Myst, for example. I like these 90s games. <laughs> but because one's an actual spinning hard drive and the other one is, albeit a small cable, but it's still a cable, I have to, you know, manage that and make sure everything is copacetic and nothing is gonna get bumped by accident. But with this, there's a slot. There's a slot that's designed just 
for this external expansion card. And I can just plug that into the slot. It shows up on my game library and it just runs like it would if it were an external drive. And if I wanna bring those games from my Series X to my Series S without having to re-download them on my Series S, same thing, the exact same thing. I mean, the name of the game here, folks, is speed, speed, speed. You want to get into the game faster. You want those load times to be faster. You also take advantage of the other components that will give you better draw distances and the, like I said, HDR and all those other things, but you need the new memory. You need the newer style of memory. And currently Seagate is the one and only to take full advantage of that with Xbox at the moment. So with that being said, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave that in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description below. And if you didn't already know, we stream on this channel. Yeah. Generally, every Wednesday and Friday, it's me, streaming different games all the time. Love to have you in the chat. But we also have a podcast with Brian Gavados so you need to listen to. And we have a TikTok where our very own Alex Humble is doing some amazing things with bending stuff, which is, never thought I'd say that. But it's, you know, he's bending things. And it's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you guys there as well, too. So that link is in the description as well, too. So... Until the next time, have a great one, and be good to yourselves and each other. Later.